G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. It's resin day and I'm going to play with some more cellophane because I love cellophane. Who knew? I'm a cellophane addict. Did not know that. <laughs> now, if you saw my other video where I made these, I did three, but I've decided I like these two best, these two cellophanes, not the party bags, just the window cling or window film and the wrapping paper. So I made these two out of those. So with these, um, I poured clear in first. And then when it was tacky, I put my scrunched up cellophane down. And then I poured the black over the top. But I did get a few bubbles. And when I was doing it, I thought, oh my gosh, why am I doing it this way? I should be doing it the opposite way. I should be putting the colour in first, then the cellophane, and then the clear. That way the bubbles can rise up to the top and I can pop them. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did it wrong. But anyway, live and learn. I learnt the hard way. <laughs> so, and uh, because, and I said to you I was going to do it again with these again with black. But I've just done the black. And I really, really like these little koi fish. Let me come up behind the camera and show you. Look at these. They're, they're a more soft, sort of pastel, iridescent look. So I'm going to try this with the cellophane. With these ones, um, obviously because I wanted a clear top, I had to put clear in first. And then I just put the cellophane over the top, because I wasn't actually going to do this. It was just leftovers. Um, and then I just put nail polish on the back, because I didn't have any room left. But today, this has given me a good idea of using pastel mica powders. Look at that. So I'm going for these effects, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. I will revisit these ones with the black. But today, I just want to see if I can get something like these gorgeous koi fish. So um, those ones I did. Now what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me. I'm going to do four. I'm going to do two in this cellophane. Actually, this was this was the window film. And then this one was just the wrapping paper. It's quite thick. And I'm not going to scrunch them. Um, so I'm going to do two of each. I'm going to back each one with um, a pastel mica powder. So I've got a rose. It's actually called Pink by Arteza. And then I've got a, it's called Blue Eyes by this little piggy. Um, Enchantment, it's pale purple by this little piggy and this is kind of a yellowy colour, it's called lemon sorbet. So I'm going to do one of each, okay, with that and hopefully we'll get this. So the first thing I need to do is cut out my circles, same as I did last time. Um, and the best way to do that, you know, rather than getting a tape measure and then trying to make a circle, just use something that you've used before in that mold that you know is the correct size. That's the easiest way to do these. It sure is. And then you just pop that down. Let me see if I can get, because it's creased, you see, I don't want to use the creases. So let me see if I can get two out of here. Oh yeah, look, I can go side by side. That'll work. Two out of that little section there. Let my pen go. Just using a pen. Um, I don't like using the markers because they smudge. So these work fine. They do. You just have to, you know, push on them a little bit more, but they do work fine. Okay, so there's the one. And then the other one, I might as well do them both while I'm here. Okay, so that's that. So there, Pen. Got a lot of this. Big, big lot of it. <laughs> Look at that. This one was this one. It's, it's really pretty. So I'm just going to just roughly cut out my two little circles here. So that's those. 
we'll move this out of the way. Plenty more to play with. What else can I do with cellophane, you guys? Oh, hey, a lot of you have said, um, you know, you've done this sort of thing before. And I said on, on um, the messages, like in the comments on YouTube, I said, oh, I'd love to see your pieces. So if you're not already a member of my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out, please join and um, put up your photos. I'd love to see your work. Now, this is the window film. I've got a piece here to show you. See, it's got a, a sticky backing on it. Well, it's not a sticky backing. It's a clear backing. And then inside here is, is sticky. But um, I'm going to use the, the non-sticky side. But I just want to show you that. It's really hard to separate them. But somebody said use, or well, a few people said, put a sticky tape on both sides and pull. I tried masking tape, but it didn't work. It's not strong enough. But um, actual sticky tape may work. All right, so let's do the same with these two. So I want two on that one and two on this one. And then when you cut your circles out, cut on the inside of your black line, okay? Because your pen is, is making the line further out. So to get the same size, you need to cut on the inside of your little ring that you've just made, okay? It's pretty easy. Pretty basic so far, and I think doing it this way, we should get a really nice effect, and it should be easy too. So hopefully it will be easy. Now let me just cut these out, and then I can move this roll away. I got this iridescent window film on Amazon.com.au, but if you're not in Australia and you're just using Amazon, just search iridescent window film or iridescent um, cellophane because this one's cellophane and this one's window film. Oh, I don't really know that there's much difference. They're just different colors. So um, all right, I'll just cut one of these out real quick and then I'll put you on pause while I cut the others out and mix up my resin. So I'm probably only going to mix maybe 30 grams per circle, so one ounce, so one, two, three, four, four ounces, about 120 grams-ish. So I only need a, a little bit for the background. I'd rather have a lot more clear because I think the with the, um, a deeper or thicker clear, um, you'll get much more sort of refraction of the light. So I just want a thin layer of the background and that'll be those pastel colors that I just told you about. Um, and then once it's tacky, we'll put these on. So let me cut the rest out. I'll mix up my resin and uh, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. So I made up, um, I got my little chart, right? So I just thought what's closest um, over here. There's 107, which I don't think would be enough. I need like 120. So I went up to this one, 143, which is 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. So I'd rather have a little bit left over. So that's fine. You know, if I've got 20 grams left over, so be it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only a tablespoon of resin. So that's it in there. Um, now, all your little bits, your offcuts, Put them in a bag and keep them because you can chop them up and use them in um, in other projects, you know, little pieces of cellophane. So keep those. I know it's not much fun cutting them up. Get the kids to do it. <laughs> right. Got my four little cups. I'm going to divide the resin equally. So what I've decided, see these ones here, This one, these ones look much more rainbow. These ones just look pretty pink, don't they? But these ones here um, were from that piece of cellophane. Now this one's throwing a lot more blue in it. So <clears throat> I've chosen not to use the blue. I'm using the yellow and the purple for these two. This one here, 
came from these, the window film. It throws a lot more sort of orange goldy colour. So I'm not using the yellow with it. I'm going to use the blue and the pink with these two. So that's my, that's how I did it, my reasoning. <clears throat> what I should have done really is just done one, two, three, four in this one. But see, I really like this one as well. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Right, let's divide this resin. And should just get like half a cup maybe on each. Oops, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I'm going to put a bit much in the first two cups. If I've got any left over, maybe I can do like a, a little thing. Actually, I wanted to do some hearts. You know my pendants, my um, heart pendants? Because I need to make more things for my giveaways when people order my moulds. I like to give a little freebie, a little gift. But um, I've run out, so sorry if you guys missed out. I need to make some more little, little trinkets to give away. So when I've got them, I, I do send them out, but I don't always have them. I, like I said, they've all gone. I need to make more. Okay, is that about equal? Maybe I can make some more of something else. Let me just clean my little stick off. My mixing stick. Put him over there. Right. So, let's do this. Mm, I'll do a, do a quite a decent scoop, I think. See how that looks. I'm not sure if I need any more. Try not to make too much mess. This is the pink. I don't have a pale pink in the um, this little piggy, so our teaser will have to do. And then the blue. look pretty together all the little pastels Oops, these scoops seem to be bigger see because this is like a 3d and it's got all these little shapes and pieces on it it, it catches the light more whereas these are just going to be flat so I don't know if we'll get exactly the same look all right I'm just going to mix those up it'll take me a couple of minutes So I decided that my colours were too dark. Um, I really wanted more of a pastel, like, like this nail polish that was on the back. So I've added white to all my colours. Um, I just added some, quite a big scoop of white satin from um, La Res. And hopefully, I mean, they're still a bit darker than what I was hoping for. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to... That's what I've done, and I've just mixed them up again. Let me get my glove back on. So, oh, and the other thing I've decided to do is um, crinkle, same as this. I just don't think I'm going to get much of a reaction just with a flat piece, because when I look at it like that, it's not really doing much. So I'm going to crinkle them again, like I did with the other one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right, let's get going. Hopefully, I've mixed all that mica powder in. So, I probably won't use all of this. I just want a thin layer because I'd rather have the top layer, the clear, um, thicker. So, let's just see how much we'll need just to cover the the base there. I won't put all of it in just yet. I'll see if I can get away with using not all of it. And then I'll just spread it a bit. If it's not going to spread on its own. Oops, forgot to go around with that one. <laughs> That's looking better. That's more what I was after. More of a pastel. Still a little bit darker than what I was sort of expecting, but 
that's okay we can't lighten it too much otherwise um, you know I have to add too much extra mica powder so I think this is enough let's just spread that out be careful not to scratch your the base of your mold when you're using sticks just gently gently push the resin around because once you've scratched your mold that's it you'll get that will transfer onto all your pieces did you see the video that I made on how to revive an old mold if you haven't if you're interested check out that video I show you um, like if it's scratched or it's lost it's shiny and it's gone all dull you can actually fix it yes you can <laughs> all right so anyway I'm going to spread all of those out you don't need to watch me do it uh, and then I'm going to wait for them to I'll give them a um, I won't torch them I'll just give them a, a spray with my alcohol um, and then I'll come back when they are uh, touch dry a little bit tacky still so that the cellophane, cellophane sheets will stick to them but um, yeah I'll come back then do the next step right then, guys I'm back let's get some lights on <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn the lights on uh, I found this little um little heart mold I just poured my excess in there never used it before so I thought give it a go so we'll just leave him there to cure now these are pretty much <laughs> set <laughs> so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna crunch the it, I don't think it matters if they're um, hard you know set or not let's crunch these scrunch 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 ow <laughs> that's sharp Sort of pre scrunched, didn't I? Okay, now one side looks a little bit shinier than the other, and now I can't remember which it was. I guess the only the only issue is because these are hard now. This because this is like curled up, it might not want to adhere. Terribly well. I didn't think of that, did I? Let's see what happens. Push it in. Don't mind if it crinkles. See, this is a this is an easy way of doing it. It's a cheats way. <laughs> you get to scrunch it, and it doesn't matter if you've got little folds and things. And I can feel air bubbles under there, but I don't think that's going to matter because this is going to be the top so if there's any air bubbles but look I can push I can push them down you can hear them can't you crackle crackle but um yeah because I'm going to put the clear on the top it won't matter if we've got any bubbles underneath but look you can push them like this you can actually push them out towards the sides get the bubbles out if you particularly wanted to okay there's that one i'll do the other one in a minute so we've got some nice little creases there so hopefully that will look nice now with the window film i folded over the plastic i wonder if i if i crinkle that will it be all right it'll be all right i'm just going to peel it off now if you if i you need to find the edge and fold it over like that on both of them. It's really hard to pull them apart. So and let's just take that off now. I'm going to put the sticky side down, but I want to crinkle first. And I don't think it's sort of sticky enough that it's going to stick to itself. Oh, look at those colours. This is just divine, this stuff. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's crinkle the other way the opposite way not onto the sticky side crunch 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 seems to work all right one more time so this is the non-sticky side we'll crunch it in like that okay crunch 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 oh it's just so 
pretty. Look at it. It's much prettier than that one, but that one gives a really pretty effect. All right, here we go. Pop that in. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a push down. So this one's sticking better. Don't feel any, don't feel any air bubbles under there. Just pulling the mold part away from the edge there so I can get my fingernail in there. My fingernail covered in paint. I've been painting. I've been trying to do Northern Lights acrylic pour. Still feel some, you can hear the air under this one. It's going crackle, crackle. I'll have a play with that. All right, so those are both down. We've got crackles on each. Um, I will we'll put you on pause. I'll do the other two, stick them in, make up my clear resin, and I'll be right back. Right, so I've got 100 grams of A. No, I didn't. I made more. I've got 150 grams of A and 64 grams of B in the Platinum 360. So the, the other ones went on really easily. I put it down, pushed into the middle, and then I just pushed from the middle out. And um, yeah, didn't get any bubbles that way. So really good. And I managed to get a few more out of this one. So because it's all higgledy piggledy jumbledy, I'm going to spray it with some alcohol just to try and reduce any bubbles. All right, here we go. Give it three sprays. Pour some of that on. I won't do it too thick yet. I want to see if I can actually pop the bubbles if they come to the surface. So just a little layer. And the next one, I'm just going to do that. So I don't get it on my coasters. I could just move them, couldn't I? Three sprays. It's very fine mist. Now, not much of a reveal on this one because you can already see the top. But when we get them out and I start moving them around in the light, that's when we're going to see the beautiful effects, hopefully. Hopefully they'll be similar to my little fish that I am trying to recreate. All right, there we go. Three little sprays. So I didn't use very much resin for the first coat. I'm saving it for the second coat because I want it to be nice and thick. I think having a, a thicker layer will just help with the diffraction of the light because these are really thick. All right. <laughs> I can't actually look at them. They're so glary. I'm going to come around and see what you guys can see. Do you see what I see? Oh, a little bit. I'll bring you around in a minute so you can see the difference. Oh, wow, look at them. All right, now let's spray again. Just to pop some bubbles. I don't know if I can actually see any bubbles. It's really hard. It's really hard to see because of the shine and because of all the, the movement. But look, I, sp I sprayed with the alcohol. I've done a thin layer of resin. I've sprayed again. I'm going to do some more resin. Um, I'll spray again. Actually, I don't know that I will spray again on the top coat. Because sometimes it leaves that sort of droplet look. I'm loving this. I, oh, I'll bring you down in a minute. You've got to see what I see. <gasps> that is just incredible. Do you see what I see? You will in a minute. This purple one looks a bit dark. Probably had a little bit still too much pigment in that one. Gee, I'm glad I made up extra resin. Look at it. Which one needs a bit more? I'm just going to go, and, oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm just going to go and stand over there and look across the top into the window. And I'll see which one needs a little bit more because I can see that way. And again, just 
top one here could do with a tiny bit more. I really don't like to scrape though, just in case I've got unmixed resin along the sides. I do mix for four minutes and I scrape the sides and I scrape the bottom. Let's mix it in just in case you get something that's not mixed properly and then you get like a streaky look, you know. <laughs> All right, let me wipe off my stick. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. All right, put the alcohol away. I am going to torch very gently with my little torch. If you'll work. No. I keep forgetting I keep forgetting to fill them up. I'm going to go and do that. All right, there we go. I must go and fill them up. All right. Um I'm put my little fish here, my little koi fish, my inspiration for these, if I'm not getting resin on them, let me get my gloves off and I'm going to bring you down and show you the most incredible thing, yes, if I can get my gloves off. I must go and buy myself some powdered gloves. It's really hard getting gloves off when your hands have started sweating, isn't it? Um, right, so that's what you can see. Come around here. Look at that! Look what's happening! Wow, look what's happening! Here's my little coys. They're being very coy and <laughs> very quiet. And they look a bit dark. I guess they're reflecting things around them. They're looking darker through the screen than they really are. But look, that one's picking up gold and pink and green. This one's gold and blue and purple. This one's just all, all kinds of things. Green, gold, pink. This one's mainly purple, but we've got some green going on and some blue. There's some gold. Look at them! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm very excited. We don't need to reveal tomorrow, do we? No, we do. All right, I'm going to cover them. Why do my coys look so dark? They're not that dark. All right, I'm going to cover them and then... Um, Come back to them in the morning. See you then. Good morning, good morning. I'm back. Oh, look. It's really deceptive, isn't it? You'd think that they were not smooth on top, but they are. All right, let's do this, shall we? Move our little fishies out of the way. Let's do this one first. I've never used this mould before. I'm assuming we're just... Do that. Yeah, I just poured from the top just my different colours in, those little bits that I had left. Just loosening it all the way around. And let's just, oops, <laughs> those are a bit tricky to do, aren't they? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Let's do it gently. I don't want to tear anything. those colors together it's really pretty all right let's get him out oh look there's the yellow I poured the yellow in gee what I did mm, no I did pink first it's got a little bit of yellow on the, the base there that's really pretty I like that I might have to do that again with something else anyway a little trinket tray Fishies can sit in there. There you go, fishies. A little trinket tray for... At least we didn't waste that resin, hey? Just something to to use up. Pop you back. Um, yeah, like that. All right, there we go. Let's get on to these gorgeous creatures. Now, these two were made with the wrapping paper. And these two were made with the window film, same as I did on that one. But because those have got black backgrounds um, they're very different to 
the pastel backgrounds. So this was the purple one. Purple? Yes, purple. Look at that. Picking up this at top. Nice and nice and smooth and shiny. No problems at all with the resin. It's very different having a black background to having um, you know, a non-black background. So there it is. You can pick up greens. How about this way? I'm not catching the light that way. Oh, look at there. We're getting some orangish colours there. A bit of blue. That's really pretty. All right, now this one. I love this one. This was the yellow background. Pop you out. Yellow, yep. Actually, there's no bubbles under that. I did pretty good at pushing the um, cellophane down. All right, look at this one. It's like a little disco, isn't it? Disco ball. Again, picking up green, blues. Oh, look at that, that way. Holding it straight up. I didn't do that with this one, I don't think. Holding it straight up. See pinks and purples on that one. You can see pinks, purples, blues on this one. And then that way you've got your, your green. Very pretty. All right, I'm going to leave that one for last. That's my favourite. Favourite one. Just by looking at the top of it, it's my favourite one. That one was obviously the blue one. No bubbles under there either. Hold it straight up. We've got blue, purple, and then as we move it, we've got greens, some pinky purples in there. They're really pretty, aren't they? Definitely could um, put holes in these and hang them with little chains and crystals and things and make a sun catcher out of it. Would you use them as sun catchers or would you use them as coasters? Because I'm thinking about making a, a thinner like a thinner mold, not quite so heavy um, for sun catchers with my um, holographics. What do you think? Would a thinner one be a good choice? Or then are you limited only to use them as sun catchers? Because these are these are decent thickness, I guess, for coasters. But you have to wait till your resin cures. You've got to wait um, like four weeks, I think. Right, this is my favourite one. This was the the pink. Can't really see the pink very well through there. All right. Now holding it straight up like that, we get pretty much the same as the others, the pink and the blues. And then when we turn it, that's when the magic happens. Look at all. Look at that little sparkles. They're just dancing around in the sun. Well, I've got a bit of sun there in my window. There's a bit of sun coming through. Not a lot. So there we go. Love them. And uh, they, are, they are similar to my little fishies. Again, not going to be exact because these are 3D. So they're textured on, on top. But uh, very similar. So happy with those. What do you think? So pale backgrounds, black backgrounds. All right, that's it, done. Moving on to the next project. And uh, I will see you again real soon for the next video. Let me know what you think of these guys. This one's my favorite for those moving around, looking at the different colors it's creating, really pretty. This one looks very purple here, doesn't it? Very nice. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.